The decisions that we make affects us now and affects us later. It does. In order to be healed, you have to admit that you're sick. You have to admit it. People say, oh, I'm not speaking that. I'm not speaking I have cancer. I, I'm, not, I'm not speaking, you know, I'm a diabetic. I, I'm not speaking that I have three months to live. I, I'm, I'm not speaking that, you know, the doctor said this or the doctor said that. I'm, I'm not speaking I have mental problems. I'm not, I'm not speaking that, you know, my marriage is, is, is messed up or my marriage seems like it's getting ready to, to, uh, to tear up. I'm not speaking that I'm about to lose my job. I'm not speaking all these things because I don't want to really deal with the issue, so I'm not going to speak it. But in order for you to be healed from something, you have to admit where you are right now. That doesn't mean that you admit where you are. That means that that don't mean that you're always going to be there. But you first got to admit the fact, this is what I'm going through right now. This is the problem. Now I give God something to work with. It is hard for us as people to really admit certain things. Let's be, let's be honest. It's hard for us to admit the truth about ourselves. I mean, really, that's hard to admit it. Think about it. If you're a liar, are you really going to admit, yeah, I'm a liar? <laughs> if you're a thief, are you going to go up to somebody who has a lot of money and say, hey, my name is John Doe and I'm a thief? <laughs> if you drink a lot, you're not going to go up to people and say, hey, you know, hey, pastor, you know, I'm such and I drink a lot. Or I smoke a lot. Or I, I cheat on my wife a lot, or I, I do things wrong deliberately, we're not going to really admit the truth about certain things. You know why? We don't want people to know. We really don't want help. But you can tell when people won't help, they admit and they are honest and say, hey, my name is such and such and I have a problem. I heard Pastor Sherry talk about how she went in AA, is it AA? And you had to go in and say, hey, my name is Sherry and I have addiction and I'm an alcoholic. My name is such and such, and I'm a drug dealer. My name is such and such, and I'm a fornicator. Come on, I'm going to go down the list. My name is such and such, and I'm a thief. And I'm going to rob you. You have to go to these places sometimes to really deal with yourself. Looking in the mirror sometimes is really tough. It's really tough. But we don't want people to really find out the real us. Dealing with it.